G'day, I'm Dave with Out and About with Dave and uh, just the other day I uploaded a blog on uh, free camping uh, which is the free type camping with Scottish type free and also off-grid type free. So focusing on off-grid I just thought I'd show you what I've done with some of my stuff that I've got. I've got a caravan and a camper and also the car I take away sometimes just with the swag. So I just thought I'd show you some of the things I've done just give you a few tips on how you might be able to go about getting off-grid camping um, just focusing on that and being able to be a little bit more self-contained. So let's have a look. So on the caravan we've got, uh, we don't, it's only a 16 foot, uh, 16 and a half foot pop top. It doesn't have a shower and a toilet. So one of the things I'm going to concentrate on, I have concentrated on uh, handling as far as self-containment is waste water. So I've run the sink from the kitchen and it comes out into this 100 mil pipe. That pipe in itself is about uh, 2300 long and 100 mils round. So that holds about 20 litres. I'll show you the other side. So this is the same tank on the other side. You can see I've got a tap on here that allows it to be shut off, holding that 20 litres in. Or when I get to a point I can dump it, I open that tap up and then the waste can come out. If I am in a caravan park that's got um, waste facilities, I'll actually hook my hose onto that and that'll go straight into their drainage point. So that to me, um, that satisfies myself that I'm self-contained. Uh, yes, I don't have a shower, but as far as I'm able to say, I can say that I had one down the road in the pub or I had one at the, um, at the service station or somewhere else, somewhere nearby. So as far as I'm concerned, that's my self-containment there. And I probably should say too that with this caravan I've got a uh, facility for 200 amp batteries and I've, uh, I've changed all the light fittings, it's a 1990 model, I've changed all the light fittings to LED. So I can run in there with the gas, gas uh, bottles feeding the fridge, uh, limited electricity use and that'll sit there quite happily and I can charge it up from the car. So looking now at the camper trailer I've got. Um, I mentioned before about batteries. There's the two batteries in the Stony Creek camp that I've got um, and if I need to I can plug a solar panel into that solar blanket and that'll charge up those batteries nicely during the sunny days. Otherwise it charges up from the car because I've got a DC-DC charge in the back of the car and that'll actually charge us up. At the moment I'm at home so I'm running 240 and that's charging up the battery quite nicely with a big um, uh, battery charger from the 240. So that's the power in the camper van sorted. What do I do as far as uh, water wastage? So here's my sink and uh, you'll see a lot of people just run their water onto the, onto the floor. Now there's nothing worse than uh, rocking up to a camping site. Someone's been there before you and there's spaghetti and baked beans and peas on the floor. So what I've got, I've kept one of my old water bottles. I've got a 10 litre water bottle here. I just sit that underneath and that goes straight into there. Nice and neat. And there's my 10 litres wastewater. So when that's full I can take it off, um, either fill it up and use another one, uh, seal it up and get another one, or I can just take it off into the scrub and uh, water a few trees with it. So uh, that again to me, I'm quite confident to say that uh, I'm self-contained in that regard. Again, I don't have a shower, no sort of things on board, but again if you do those um, ablutions separately to the camping area you're in, I think it's pretty safe to say that you'd be self-sufficient. As far as uh, the, the toilet goes, going to the toilet, I've got a porta potty, which this van, this camper, once it opens up and uh, it folds forward, I've got room inside to carry my porta potty. And uh, again, I can safely say that I'm carrying my black water out with me. All I gotta do then is find a dump point. So looking now at the car, the tow vehicle, the tug, I've got a BT50 called Pedro. BT50 Peter Beattie um, and as far as it being a source of power I've got a 160 watt solar panel on the roof so that then feeds the spare battery I've got in the back of the tub and uh, also that then takes off and goes to the Anderson plugs at the back of the car which plug into the camper or the trailer whichever I'm tying so the battery that's inside And there's my battery inside in the box and it's currently running with a solar panel and it's sitting there 12 and a half volts and I can isolate this battery so that the solar panel on the roof is just charging through the Anderson plug to the caravan or the camper. So pretty flexible in that regards. So that gives me my power that I need and as far as water, if I need water, I've got a uh, 13 litre uh, capacity in a 
PVC pipe on the roof. Uh, it's not hot or anything, but it certainly gives me the gravity feed, or I can plug it in with a, uh, a pump. Uh, I can have a nice little shower out of that if I need to. My habit is, I, uh, when I'm roughing it a little bit more, is I just have a bath, a sponge bath and that with a towel, and I can um, do that with about 1.6 litres of water. But uh, there's another YouTube shot of that on our website, and uh, you can uh, see that there. I can carry my porta potty in the back, which I do. I've got some water in there now, which we're taking up to Stanthorpe next week. And um, my sink waste, again, if I've got my camper, I can uh, drain into that. I've got the caravan, I can handle off the back of that. Otherwise, it's just going a little bit spartan at times. So, there you go. That's my efforts in self-sufficiency. Camping free, off-grid.